everybody, it's Dr. Cruz, how are you? I want to talk to you real quick about uh, verbal abuse. Verbal abuse, when you're in a relationship and a man is verbally abusing you, every single day that you tolerate that, you may think you're fighting it, you may think it's not affecting you, but I guarantee you, little by little by little, it is stealing your personal power. With every insult, with every negative word, it's getting planted in here, whether you realize it or not. With every insult that you're ugly, or whatever the insults are. I dated a guy once, and every time we were in an argument, I was a stupid white bitch. I've been so many stupid white bitches to him. Uh, that was his regular go-to line. And with each insult, he stole my power. And one day, I realized I was overweight. I had been drinking way too much to escape and to deal with him. I was embarrassed because we couldn't have any friends because we were constantly arguing. And my personality was that I didn't back down. So if I'm a stupid white bitch, guess what he was? He was gonna be a dead ass motherfucker because that was my attitude. I was gonna go for you. But what I didn't realize was that I was hurting myself. Why was I trying to argue and fight with a grown ass man? I wasn't thinking right. And so, there get out of the abusive situation because you know healthy relationships are supposed to be about the person investing in the betterment of you they're supposed to worry about your best interests and have your best interests at heart so if you're a stupid bitch or if you're whatever it is that they call us because we know what it is right if we stay there and we tolerate that that's not a healthy relationship. That's not a, a healthy role model for your children. You're not gonna be a healthy role model to your children because you're an abused woman. You gotta be able to recognize what's really happening, okay? And, and like I said, you know, I thought it was all good because he wasn't gonna beat me. You know, like I wasn't gonna back down. My attitude was like, for every ounce that you got, I got a pound coming towards you. But that's not a healthy way to live. That's not the way you wanna have your household. You want peace and security and comfort and love and compassion. And if you're not getting that with the man you're with, then don't be with the man. It's okay to be by yourself. I had to leave my relationship to get to where I'm at right now. And I live on the East China Sea right now. And next year, I'll live somewhere else. <laughs> because that's the life I've chosen for myself. You can't become the best person you can be if you got the devil in your house telling you you ain't shit. It just doesn't work that way. And if you don't have your best interest at heart, who's gonna have your best interest at heart? So I encourage you to look at your relationship and ask yourself if it's healthy. And if it's not healthy, please know that you need to do something about it because it's not gonna happen by itself. And if he's insulting you and abusing you verbally or physically, I guarantee you he's not gonna be the person to improve your life. You have to be the person who improves your life. This is Dr. Cruz, and this is what Healing Out Loud is all about. It's about us talking about the things that no one really wants to talk about because they're shamed or they're scared or they have no self-esteem left and they live in fear or paranoia. All of these things come from a healthy or unhealthy environment. And that's what an abusive relationship is. It's unhealthy. It doesn't matter how you twist it. It doesn't matter how you explain it, rationalize it, excuse it. It's unhealthy. And you cannot be healthy from anything that's unhealthy. It just doesn't work that way.
So this is Dr. Cruz, and until next time, figure it out. This is your life. This is your mind and your body and your soul, and nobody has the right to deteriorate that or to demean it or to weaken it or to abuse it. Nobody, nobody at all. You have to love yourself enough to know when it's time to go. And it just might be time to go. You have to decide that for yourself. Or else you can't get to the East China Sea. <laughs> or whatever that is for your own life. You can't get to the promised land by living in hell. Okay? So, take a look at the ocean. Isn't that beautiful? I love it out here. It's freaking awesome. It goes on forever and ever. Usually there's a nice sunset, but I guess not tonight. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.